Hey guys, it's that time again. It is Whip Wednesday. So every week we try and uh, get together with you guys. Uh, I show off what I've been hobbying and then we show off what you guys have sent in to have a look at. Just trying to keep the hobby alive and we've got so much to go through, which is fantastic. Um, full disclosure, next week is very nearly Christmas time and I am going to be absolutely... Uh, stretch as a treat so we're going to uh, skip next week and have a bumper episode the following week hopefully um, which will be cool because that gives everyone time to kind of get their Christmas stuff so I'm expecting that to be a really big one anyway let's have a look at what I've been hobbying and then we'll go into what you guys have been doing okay so let's have a look at my hobby bits and bobs first of all I printed this ogre for my black orc team to be the troll I know I said I was going to use Varag um, but this guy was just too cool and menacing. I kind of want him to become a personality in the league. Uh, it's pretty sizable. He's on a 40 mil base. Let's grab a human to compare it size wise. As you can see, he is a chunky boy. So, got my ogre. Need to base him up. It's not based him. I need to prime it. It's been horribly rainy. So, uh, naturally, because I, uh, I love Minotaurs, as you guys know, um, I printed off some. They're NPCs from Duncan Shadow, I think, um, and they are Minotaur barkeeps. But I think you'll agree, these guys are going to make abs an absolutely sweet Minotaur team. So printed up one guy here, goes on a 40 quite nicely. And I've got a second one here. He's actually a little bit big, I think, um, but does fit on a 40 mil, so it could be right. There's an armoured one that I absolutely love. I printed him, but a couple of times it's failed now. Um, basically, it just keeps leaking resin. So, it's not all fun and games in the printing world. Uh, printed a random air elemental. Don't know if I can get that to zoom in quite nicely. There we go. Uh, just as a kind of... There's an elemental team on Fumble, and we saw it in one of our tournaments. Uh, Matt's BBL ran it, and it was really cool. So, I've always been on the lookout some elementals and this I love this I uh, printed some little um, <laughs> some owls in American football helmets basically to be as uh, like little tokens for Ian's team I think they're gonna be called the Ostwald owl bears I think um, I, he loves owl bears like I love minotaurs so <laughs> talking of the minotaurs I started um, building my nobility team who are going to be called, I think, the Marienburg Minotaurs. So I've been doing a bit of conversion, so used the throw ahead on a lineman there just to add a bit of variety. Used a lineman's glove here on the bold headed, bold headed, the helmetless thrower, just to give, again, a little bit of a pose difference, a little bit of difference, and then this guy. So I think I saw somebody do this on the Blood Bowl community, and I loved it. Basically, uh, <laughs> if you uh, follow NFL at all, you probably have heard of uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. And this guy just reminds me of Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's the quarterback, or was the starting quarterback, for the Miami Dolphins this year. So I'm going with the uh, Marienburg Minotaurs. It was going to be the Marienburg somethings, um, but uh, with a D. But yeah, I think the Marienburg Minotaurs works out pretty well. Got some little Minotaur head... Uh, transfers coming from uh, Magister Militum and um, they do little shield transfers like for 10 mil and uh, I think that'll work out really well so I'm literally just going to bring my painting palette over because I was painting last night uh, while Tiff was watching TV we chilled out and had an evening together of just doing nothing in particular it was really lovely um, we haven't seen each other much recently it's been really 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 chaotic in both of our jobs so I've finally got some base colours and things down on my necromantic team. Just started going with the skin. I'm going green with the skin with Death Guard. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought it was a different one. I thought it was Nurgle green or something. The one that's the highlight for this. I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Nice zombie flesh. But actually, over the top of a brown base coat, I'm really happy with the flesh tones. Um, and obviously I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna highlight it up and shade it what I'm gonna do I think is mix some Kislev flesh in with that death guard and um, use it as the highlight for the skin kind of go for some green fleshy vibes oh, I made a bit of a mistake I used Nihilac oxide but I don't like how it's come up I think I, I did it over Grace here and it's just kind of gone bad Halloween blue so I think I'm gonna have to uh, use some clever highlighting 
kind of bring the ghosts up to spec because not not massively happy with that and there's some terrible mold lines so please forgive me um <laughs> you may have remember you may remember me building these in like 30 seconds flat and doing a very bad job of it uh, and i've lost a couple of spiders off the bases as well which is sad although uh we've still got spiders kicking around on the, on the models little spider on his hat there i've got a little spider hanging down you know had a great time adding the spiders um, and you guys have given me some great suggestions for names, so I'm going to have to continue catching up with those comments uh, so I can come up with um, with an appropriate name that's spider-related. Um, and I've got my werewolves. Go uh, albino with one, and I'm going to turn another one kind of ginger, kind of um, golden retriever style, uh, basically, because Buddy, my golden retriever, died at the beginning of the year, and uh, we've got a puppy, another golden retriever, who is absolutely white, like an albino. Um, retriever. So I'm going to call them Doug and Buddy, basically my werewolves for this team. The only other thing to show is I've printed off a bunch. Not as many as I need to, but basically uh, making these up for my management teams. So I've got two teams at the moment, so I need to do a couple more batches. Uh, I'm going to spray them gold, put a little uh, bead at the bottom with a ribbon through, basically make everybody a Christmas tree decoration that says, I survived the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. I thought this would be a nice personalised gift for my teams who have worked incredibly hard during this season. This season? Just this year. This season? Man, I am so blood bowl. Anyway, talking of Blood Bowl and, uh, and stuff, let's have a look at what you guys have been doing. All right, we've got some really cool stuff today. So first up, we've got some uh, some bits from Steve Jobin. Hi, Ben. Really enjoy your YouTube content and thought I'd send you a pic of my most recently completed team. It's not fair. Uh, <laughs> got to get a bit carried away with pimping up the pump wagons. So I've ended up with three. Nice job. Um, I love that. I'm hoping at some point we'll have a star player pump wagon or something. So let's have a look at the pumps. So, Wicked, and what, I love the Christmas hat on this guy. That's brilliant. And, yeah, gone to town with moving the little dudes around. I'm going to do that. Let's go that. And had a bit of structural change there. I wonder where you got the pieces for this. I know there was a 3D printed um, jobby what's it a while ago. A uh, pump wagon thing. So, might have to blow up some bits. And, yeah, this one's quite different as well. Good use of the pieces. That's a really cool way. I love that you've gone with two boxes as well. So two... T oh, that's clever. Look at the trolls. The trolls with bits of the pump wagon on as kind of like armor, but also to tie it in with the rest of the team. That is very clever. I also went with that ogre. That ogre? With that troll, because it's a good one for the team. Team looks lovely. I really like the basing as well. I, it's a very classic paint job. Really like it. That looks like maybe contrast paints, but anyway, I love the team. Looks really good. Uh, love the stickers. Love the yeah, really lovely job there with the Snotling team. And I think this is yours as well. Um, yeah, yeah. These follow hot on the wheels of my currently unnamed OWA team. Okay, guys, Steve's got an OWA team here. Let's give him some name ideas. It's yellow and bronze. I think is probably the best way to describe it. All right, straight up, uh, Steve. Great job at coloring, color coding all the bases. Um, team looks great. Is that head swaps or is that the? Is it head swaps or is it the Bright Crusaders thing? Now it looks like actual head swaps there, which is cool. Wow, where have you got the heads from? Is that like uh, AOS kits or stuff? I love this team. I think the OWA is really interesting. And cool ogre there went with the punter miniature. Looking really good, Steve. Absolutely brilliant, man. Um, let's uh, start it off strong today. So what have we got next? Oh, I know who this is from. We have got a bit from Dustin. Uh, this looks awfully like Paladin Demo. Here's what I'm currently at with my uh, Project Battle Hawks. Jersey's done. Markers, coins, and balls completed. And yes, I put the X on ends now on pants. There we go. So... Building in, I need to get a good metallic blue. Uh, I was doing it for um, Griff and never got around to finishing it off. Um, yeah, cool work there. Good highlighting. Yes, you put the X's on the end. That's brilliant, XFL. That's fantastic. Love that. Now, this was a thing of beauty. So this is from um, Trolls, again. 
Uh, hi, Benz. Two weeks ago, I sent you some test picks for my Necromantic Horrors, and now they are done. This is the 12th team uh, in a project of painting the New Games Workshop models with inspiration from NFL franchises. Uh, I wanted something distinctly different from Games Workshop's colour scheme threw the Halloween theme out the window and went with the Philadelphia Eagles. To avoid overlapping with my Skaven team, painted like the Packers, yes. Um, oh, he says, check the group shot. We'll have to look at the group shot. Didn't download that one. Let's have a look at it. I tried to go with an away uniform, then reimagined through the lens of an evil necromancer. What do you think? Did I make the right choice or should I have gone for the Bengals or maybe the Ravens? Thanks for the great content and happy holidays. So, uh, I remember looking at this. Great metallic job there. Um, I'm painting up my team at the moment. Oh, the werewolves come out really, really well. I love the green. Goes well with the grey on the trousers. <laughs> Is this uh, another one of your teams? That's a, that's a great little homage there. I like that. Man, those werewolves have come out really well. Ooh. Ooh, you put the fear in me now. I'm going to have to uh, try and do this good a job. Right, great job here at splitting the skin tones. Look at that. That is something I need to pick up on, actually. I wasn't going to do that. I I wouldn't have even thought about doing that. So that's awesome. Really good job with that. No, I love the scheme. Oh, great battle damage as well there, Trolls. This is looking lovely. And a really good job of the ghosts. I mean, I Nihalak destroyed mine. So I'm going to have to go back to, uh, back to basics on that one. But these ghosts look great. <laughs> love the socks. Love that you've gone with the little alternative paint schemes there. Really, really cool. And... I oh, went with two boxes, I see, to max out the zombie squad. Interesting. Okay, brilliant. We'll have to come back to the uh, the teams in a minute. Uh, Night Haunts rolls up and a dram of whiskey. Hey, Ben. Firstly, thanks for getting around to Fling's development. Uh, only been into Blood Bowl for a year, and what a year to start playing with a global pandemic messing it all up. Yep, I, I hear that, Rob. Uh, but I've been getting busy with getting more teams together, even though I won't be able to finish the first local season yet with my halflings up here in Birmingham. Oh, sweet, the MBBL. Oh, brilliant. Um, uh, I had a selection of Age of Sigmar miniatures from Mortal Realms magazine, which I've tooled into Turner's two teams, Undead and Kemri. Attached is the Kemri team, the Bloody Briars, the positionals from left to right are Tomb Guardians, Throw Ras, and Blitz Ras. We'll come to that in a second. Uh, just need to add a few standing star players from a few of the more unique Nighthorn miniatures. I also came across a Whiskey Golem from Malifaux. My first thought of seeing minis now are, how can they work in Blood Bowl? Yes, Rob. Right there with you. Uh, so this will most likely be used as a troll or possibly tree man. It's Grack. Grack. Find a little halfling. That's Grack and Crumbleberry. Um, Grack and Brumbleberry. There you go. Hopefully get through the pile of plastic before the world goes back to normal and we can actually see people. Keep up the great content. Well, hopefully we won't go back into lockdown immediately after Christmas, but I'm not positive. So, first of all, superb job. This is a great idea for a miniature. And yeah, I definitely would have done the same thing. How can we get this into Blood Bowl? Um, really love. That's some brilliant painting there. Nicely done. Really, really, really nice execution. <laughs> I love this in the top. That's cool. Okay, here we go. So these are these are the positionals. Tomb Guardians, Throw Ras, Blitz Ras. So four Tomb Guardians, two Throw Ras, and the Haradan guys as Blitz Ras. Yeah, that works great. I love these models, the Myrmidon uh, Banshees. Good work getting a football in there. It looks like that might be sculpted. Um, Milton used these for the Ethereal team from Fumble. So that's really lovely. And there you've got the, the linemen of the Chain Rasps. Is that... Yeah, they're just ordinary Chain Rasps. Wasn't sure if it was from the Briar Queen set. Uh, really lovely, really lovely paint job. Um, I look forward to seeing these. I mean, Birmingham's not too far for us, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got Stuart Shelley. Hey, Stuart. Uh, hi, Ben. Here's what I'm painting. Surprise, surprise. It's Imperial Nobility. I've uh, got a couple of retainers done so far in black and gold, but I'm including one each of the other positionals to show the solution I've gone with to differentiate positionals. Yellow feathers for nobles. Sort of eagle griffin feathers for the guards and grey plumes for the lion. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Stuart. Um, that's a really good idea, actually. Having the um, having just like a, a, a generic colour for the linemen and then fancying up the positionals with uh, different coloured plumage, I suppose. Um, don't want to get all twitchy about it, but yeah. I love the colour scheme. I mean, the edge highlighting... Is a lot of work, I think, for these miniatures, the judging from Ben's stream and <laughs> what he went through. Um, but that finish is lovely. 
Um, it gives me a bit of a Pittsburgh Steelers vibe, maybe a Nuln vibe. Um, oh gosh, most importantly, oh Stuart, we're going to need to know a team name for this one. Two trolls teams, Tr trolls. I'm really sorry. I'm very English. I try. I try. I've done some stuff with German. I've not. I've, I'm not so good with other stuff. Anyway, let's have a look. So we seen the Eagles necrom uh, necromantic team down there. Uh, what's that? Washington? Red and yellow? Could be... Could be... Uh, Washington? Oh, Chiefs, maybe. Undead team. Uh, <laughs> is that the Browns there for the Underworld? In fact, my Underworld team is also Browns. The Brown, te the Brown Town Steamers. Uh, Packers for the Skaven there. I love that. I love the scheme. I've also got green... I've got my Packers mug here ready. Um, and we've got the Seahawks Dark Elves. Yeah, I think that's an appropriate choice. Passing got hurt, but it'll be all right. I love the Chaos team. Great head swaps there. Let me go to tap, tap, tap. Okay, great Chaos Ogre slash Troll. That's a really smooth move, actually, because you can use that for different the different big guys. Lovely painting, lovely colors there. Assuming that's charges. And... Uh, cool head swaps that guy number three looks awfully like dragon ball z <laughs> which is wicked number one love the chaos head swap there and what have we got here so black team with red i mean it's a lovely team black team with red come on come on ben cardinals because we've got the white there as well maybe 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 uh purple and blue maybe that's the charges Oh, I don't know. I am uh, not good at this game. This is wicked, though. Look at the Wood Elf team. Classic. You know, you've got the rainbow hair. <laughs> That's lovely as well. I need to get my Pro Elves on the go. Ooh, excellent Harlequin masks there. Really clever idea. A dwarf team that isn't purple. I love that. Red dwarves looks really good. And this, <laughs> which I'm assuming is your Patriots humans. Really cool. A great use of head swaps and things like that. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really, really love that. Uh, anyway, let's move on to this. All right, what have we got now? Um, do 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 do. Done that one. Uh, Luca, greetings from Italy. I'm Luca, and wanted to share with you the progress of my red hot chili dragons. Uh, I've been working on them since this summer. I hope I'll get the opportunity to finish them during the Christmas season. I've also picked up the Blood Bowl 2020 set, but with the spare time I have, I'll probably get another pandemic before I get to finish them. Hey, pandemics, although terrible things, are actually quite good for hobby, I think. Um, I have a bit of experience with bolt action miniatures, but this is my first Blood Bowl team, and I'm pretty happy with the result so far. And so you should be. So bolt action to Blood Bowl is a pretty different uh, style of game. Uh, but cool, love the scheme, and absolutely love the lizards. Let me know what you're thinking for Croxagore, because um, that's the one missing thing here that makes the lizards the lizards. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to also drop off the revamp to some of the legacy teams I was working on. I always like to make fan content and rules for various games in my spare time. I don't have many fellow players to share this with, so I share this with you guys and hope you enjoy it. Sorry in advance for any syntax error or typo. Nonsense. Right, let's go to the PDF. So, Luca has done some work on rosters for uh, legacy teams. Now, obviously, we've got the proper ones have dropped. Ooh, Tomb Kings with Loner on the lineman. That's brutal. <laughs> I don't think Luca likes Kemri. Um, I like the increase, however, for Amazons for their line women. Um, Eagle Warriors going up 10k and getting passing 2 plus actually makes them a thrower. Um, catches 85k and movement 7. That would absolutely make the catches more exciting. Still, Nort's a 4 on the Blitzers, 115k, so actually that makes the roster more expensive. Block Dodge and Dauntless and a Panther Rider. Dude, that is exciting. Um, vampires, there we go. Animated Gargoyle, Vampire Vassals, Vampire Count. Oh, really hope to see some some lovely stuff land when they change it up. Norse Lineman, Norse Runner, Norse Berserker, Ulfarana's Yeti. No thrower because you don't need them. Love that, Luca. That's just awesome, man. I'm going to have a good read of that later because that is some great work. Thank you very much for sharing. And next up, we have got 
JP, hey Ben, recently found your podcast and love it. Hey JP, welcome to the party. Uh, I'm thinking of running Halflings next season and like the idea of having lots of star players to change up the team. That is the really cool thing with the stunty teams. I think that Snotlings have a bit more bit more chance to do that, but Halflings have still got an absolute ton. Anyway, this is my latest star and it was a fun model to paint. He's so tiny I decided to mount him on a spare ball. That is a great idea. I regret not doing that. That would have been a good one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice job. Uh, so this is JP's Acorn. Love the tone there. It's very, uh, very Wookie tone. Uh, really cool. Modeling on the ball looks like a spare orc ball. Was a great idea. And uh, yeah, nice foliage, nice stuff. What other stars are you running for the halflings? Actually, great shading there on the uh, on the armor. That's a really lovely scheme. I like that. Ooh, and now more things that I like. Hayden, my overgrown pitch in progress. Found the motivation to start it during Ben's 24-hour paint stream. He is a madman. 390 hand-cut tiles. Around 30 hours of work so far, but I believe I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. Made with XPS foam, foam core, pine strip, and all the regular basing materials. Oh, man. That is right. The way you have separated the pitch using what I'm assuming is the pine strip here is genius. I hadn't even thought to do that. That is actually genius. Beautiful. Right, overgrown pitch looks really, really lovely. Honestly, guys, there is nothing better than building your own Blood Bowl pitch, except perhaps building your own Blood Bowl 7's pitch because they're about half the size. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. 10 out of 10 recommend uh, to mark out 7's pitch on there as well. Um, this looks great and you've got the the secret tunnels there as well really lovely uh, and great work on the foliage Hayden smashing job superb superb and then we've got Stephen hey guys completely forgot to you my last week painted the snots the BB tokens and the dark Eldar bringing my total up to 126 out of 162 models. So, Stephen, you are on the way. Uh, he says, this does include a few new Blood Bowl purchases I couldn't resist. So, can we zoom out? Let's zoom out and get the picture in there. So, uh, oh, you went with the Slith. Uh, ben said he picked up one of those, and it was one of the worst miniatures he'd ever got. So, this is your Dark Eldar lot. This guy here, the Clawed, the Clawed Fiend, this purple dude, above oh our camera cuts off um that was a bit of a stretch but uh, he's awesome i've got one of those for blood bolt it's going to be my rat ogre for a bit i, I like like the miniature uh <laughs> okay so so there's a snotling running on a barrel what's steven brewing up uh, oh look at this we've got some uh, oh the rock in place <laughs> so freed up the bolt right that is clever and a squig rider there. I've seen that quite a few people swap in squig riders for the fun hoppers. I like that. I mean, the more squigs in Blood Bowl, the better. Do recommend playing the squig team from well, either from uh, the Fumble Secret League or the Fumble Stunty League. I like the Stunty League because played in the Stunty League uh, tournament Mana Bowl in Birmingham three years in a row, I think awesome tournament really great teams really great modeling so steven nicely done getting some hobby done and a heck of a total 126 might have to do a painting challenge or something for next year um i think that's a good idea uh, right so steven says hi guys after listening to your last episode i realized i had some blood bowl stl files i've made on hero forge that I thought you'd like there's also some freebies i picked up in there the players are a brett vampire noble team Ooh, amazon female ambium four nation rugby team some dust goblins, which totally need to be in the next Tombstone tournament. Need to run them. They will be there. Do not worry. All the best, Stephen. Thank you so much, Stephen. I will check those out later. What am I printing at the moment? At the moment, I'm trying some bases because I cannot print bases. They just fail on me. So trying to print out some bases for my Black Orc team. Uh, and uh, then I've got another two prints of the little toilet roll dudes to do. Then I can print off some more fun stuff. In the meantime... We have got James Armstrong here. Hi, Ben. I've been watching all the Bonehead videos on YouTube to get me through lockdown. Thanks for watching, James. Nice to have you on board. I've got back into Blood Bowl after a long break and have amassed a few teams now. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Please find attached some pictures of my Chaos Pact, Skaven, and Ogre, the last of which is still a work in progress. Hey, that's Whip Wednesday, buddy. Uh, there are also a Dark Elf, Nurgle, Dwarf, and Undead teams coming together. Keep up the good work, guys. Cheers, Jim. Thanks, Jim. That's wicked. Okay, so you have got some classic chaos 
arm stuff going on here. This looks like um, like a uh, zinch kind of thing. Let's tab over. Let's tab over. Let's have a look at the team. Uh, oh, I this is an absolutely lovely looking team. This has got some serious second edition vibes. Who's this team by? This is some. Um, I don't know who this is by. There's the little goblin. So this is packed. So you've got the orc. You've got the little goblin there. You've got a whole bunch of mutated guys. Do you have... Uh, do you have the human thrower? That must be the dark elf in the corner. Hey, hey, hey. Where's the skaven? Where's the skaven? Come on. You've got to have the skaven. Maybe that's, uh, that's the goblin. Maybe, oh, maybe that's the skaven then in the background. Anyway, uh, ogre looks cool. Minotaur looks very cool. Got the mutation there and the claw in the background. This is a very cool looking team. Really like that. And yeah, there's some serious detail on these miniatures. They are brilliant. Yeah, oh, that's definitely the Skaven. Hey Skaven buddy, how you doing? Movement 7, baby. And this will be the Skaven team. <laughs> I love, right. I love the use of this miniature. I think that might be his Fez glitch. Uh, not Fez glitch. It used to be Fez glitch. The Verminator, who is out for the moment. I imagine we'll see him back soon. Love the team. Love the scheme. Green and orange work really well together. This guy looks like Alf. <laughs> so I wonder if... That must be Glart, do you reckon? And then this guy over here, maybe um, Skitter. Man, it's really difficult going from the old edition to the new edition with the stars. That's cool. This is a really cool miniature. That's got to be the Verminator. Love that. And <laughs> I love this dude. And then Ogre Team it says the Ogre Team is whip. Man, Ogres are sweet. I love the Right, great job with the red. Um, This is James. Back into Blood Bowl. When you say back into Blood Bowl, you in the hobby. This is this is very cool. I'm getting some, uh, getting some 40k vibes here with the paint scheme. Looks really cool. Love Ogres. They are great fun. Uh, yeah, that, that scheme is uh, Corn Berserker. The only thing missing from that is Chain Axes. Jim, that's wicked. And then it's Graham. It's it's the weekly update with the Resident Dwarf. Graham Pickett. Hi, Ben. Just the troll this week, and probably next week too. I managed to reposition the infamous troll arm and threw some green stuff in for good measure. I think I got away with it. I'll be glad to get back to painting my beloved dwarf brethren. Okay. That is a really solid conversion. And a very wise move as well. Um because of the arm obviously with the miniature and the bad painting and stuff when the miniature was landed it was just like it just looked like i've brought a troll who has no face because he's throwing the goblin just absolutely over him he's just made painting it and just made it look a bit rubbish this is a great oh gone back to trolls teams now at uh, that troll from graham was awesome really good that means we have finished i'm gonna happy to have this as the end screen I don't know what's going on with my camera position. Why have I lost the edge? Anyway, I'm going to get distracted. Uh, guys, thank you so much for submitting all your content. Please get in touch. The Bonehead Podcast at gmail.com. Like I said, won't be able to put a video together next week, um, but send in your submissions because then I can kind of put it together as and when over the Christmas break and have like a, a New Year's special, basically. We will be doing a Christmas edition of the podcast, which will land on Christmas Day. And uh, please have a look at the podcast feed because we've got the, um, the short stories coming out every day as well. Um, so thanks ever so much. Have a great Christmas, but there'll be more Blood Bowl stuff tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys later.